Welcome to Bedford Autodrome, where we've got what promises to be an intriguing track battle between two of our favourite affordable driver's cars. We've got Ford's new Fiesta ST, and we've got Toyota's familiar but great fun GT86. One's front wheel drive, one's rear wheel drive. Let's see how they compare on the track. So we're on track in the GT86. You all know this car inside out by now, um, but we'll just recap a few things. Two litre flat four, very low in the chassis, just under 200 horsepower, not very torquey, about 150, 151 foot pounds. But the car is quite light, 1240 kilos, uh, and it's rear wheel drive, obviously, which is what appeals to people like us. So the first impressions of the car are that you do sit very, very low, and the car feels nice and taut and flat. The steering has a natural kind of feel to it, so it's intuitive, you can place the car without thinking about it and correct the oversteer without really having to think too much. It does mean you have to be on the ball though, because it does go sideways quite readily and quite a long way, so if you're not quick with your corrections, you will probably spin it. There's no question it's a huge amount of fun, particularly through here. <laughs> Okay, so we'll try and concentrate on doing a fast lap now. I do wonder whether the fun element of these tyres is going to hamper the lap time just because you haven't got the precision and the, the ultimate control and the ultimate grip. You can feel that straight away under braking. The brakes are really good, you've got a good firm pedal, but the tyres don't have the, the grip to sustain that braking G, so you just run wide. When it's not sliding, it feels really very well sorted actually. And you kind of, in this situation, you'd want it to be a little bit stiffer and have grippier tyres because you can really exploit the, the balance. But those tyres, once they get beyond a certain point, there's very little grip there. And it gets quite frustrating because you're waiting for the front but then you just can't go around that corner any other way. It's, there's no grip there. Fun versus speed. It wasn't too bad, but you're kind of fighting the front and the rear. There's a mismatch. And you have to stay off the power, because if you turn in on the power, you just lose the tail. All right, last corner. Well, it was good fun. Not sure how fast it was though. Proving oversteer is fun, but not especially fast, the GT86 posts a time of 1 minute 31.6. Right, so we've jumped out of the Toyota and we've jumped into the new Fiesta ST. I've not driven this before, and first impressions are it feels it's just how you want a hot hatch to feel, actually. It's small and it's kind of urgent and it's got some energy coursing for it. It's got a turbocharged 1.6 litre engine, which, although it doesn't quite have the peak power, it has a lot more torque. It's got 210, 215 foot pounds of torque. It turns in really quite aggressively and you can feel the inside rear wheel lift up but it doesn't seem to have quite as much grip as you'd want once it's turned in but that said it's yeah it's a little ball of energy which is brilliant fun right fast corner fast corner back it in see what happens <laughs> quite a lot Good, really, really good. We'll chuck it into this corner and <laughs> yeah, it's quite lively at the rear. Maybe you don't want it quite that extreme, but knowing that it will do that, and with ESC off, it won't intervene. That 
kind of tells you you're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, right, so time for our fast lap against the clock. And it's when you're really precise with it and you can just kind of nudge it between understeer and oversteer, that's the balance you're looking for. And it's quite hard to find actually. It turns in really well, but then there's not the grip there to lean on. It doesn't seem to generate the lateral grip that you really need to get into and out of the corner. And then it does this sort of hoppy thing. But the engine is strong. It's strong and there's plenty of power and plenty of torque. It doesn't rev particularly hard, but that's the way with these little modern turbocharged engines, but it does sort of punch above its weight in terms of torque. It's good through there. You can you kind of have to just get the front end loaded just enough, but not get on the power too much too soon. Good, got out of that hairpin, right, through the chicane. Just at the top end of third into fourth. Oh, you just feel it start to understeer and you can't get on the power, but, okay. This fast one. You just need a few more revs to pull through to the next corner. I ran a bit wide there, over the line, what's the time? Making good use of its torque advantage and more neutral balance, the Fiesta ST sets an impressive time of 1 minute 30.4. With a 1.2 second time advantage, the front wheel drive Fiesta ST is the easy winner on outright pace. But when it comes to outright fun, the rear wheel drive Toyota GT86 is very hard to beat.